Hello everybody and welcome to your next Allegro HD tutorial. In this tutorial you're going to be learning how to uh, do collision, well bounding box collision in your code. So let me just change the name here. Okay, so what some of you might ask, ask what is bounding box collision? Bounding box collision is just a type of collision that detects if you've collided in a rectangular um, or yeah in a rectangular area so let me show you an example using paint and let's wait for this to load so say um this is my player so let me draw whatever stick man yay Okay, we have a stick man. Okay, and uh, say we want to see, we want a stick man to when it reaches a wall, it actually collides with the wall. So say this is our wall, and I should, you know, whatever. Okay, here's our wall. So um, if we want our player to interact with the wall, then we have one way of collision where we can detect to see if. A, um, if a rectangular area is interacting with the wall in a rectangular area for example say we set a rectangular area like so okay so we say that if this edge basically hits this edge right here if this edge right here hits this edge then we have collided now as you can probably see that bounding box collision isn't always the greatest right so to make it seem more realistic sometimes you'd want to make the box um, for the player to collide in you might want to make it smaller than the actual player so that when this part hits the wall then it actually looks more realistic than it's like it's actually hitting the actual wall <coughs> sorry so let us get into the code now there's one th um this is one thing I've added to the code and it's a function it's, um it's of type bool meaning boolean which means it has to return a true or false value so let's look what's in here this is the object that we're detecting to see for collision and this is the object um that we were we're colliding into um in this particular function so we're saying that if the x coordinate of um, our object is greater than x2 plus width 2. So it's basically saying, if we look at our drawing, it's basically saying if this top point right here, so saying if this top point is greater than this top point right here, and then let's go back to our code, then it's saying that or else if x plus width is less than x2 so let us look at what it's saying right here so it's saying if, if this corner is less than this corner right over here or if y is greater than y2 um, plus height 2 so that's basically saying if sorry if this edge is greater than this edge down here right or it's saying if it's saying it says y plus height is less than y2 so it's basically saying is this edge higher than this edge right here and it seems kinda confusing but you'll understand what I'm get at right now so basically it's saying that if the box if the player itself is not touching what it's supposed to be colliding into then we return false but if any of these are true meaning that it is touching a part of the place we're supposed to be colliding into then we return true letting us know that we have collided so to make it an example so if any part of this box is touching any part of this box that we've drawn here then it will return true 
if this box is not touching any of this area right here so right here right now it's not touching so it will return false so basically let us go into our program and sorry so uh we go down into our program and in our update uh in our update loop we have if collision and then we're still using the mouse um coordinates from previous tutorials we're saying if the mouse x coordinate for x we're putting mouse x coordinate for the y we're putting our mouse y coordinate the mouse doesn't have a width or a height it just has a it's just a pointer so we set both of this to zero then i've created a box and I've created variables for the box. I've created a x and y variable and a width and height variable. So I, I place those in here, in this, and I say that if it has collided, then we display a message box on the screen to let us know that a collision has happened. And excuse this code right here. It's not really relevant to the tutorial. Uh, so let me get rid of this. So basically I drew I drew a rectangle um, with the coordinates that I've um, actually created up above so um, our x coordinate is x, y coordinate is y, x2 coordinate is x plus width, y2 coordinate is y plus height and we set the box color to red and then we show the mouse and then we blit the buff to the screen, clear the bitmap, destroy the bitmap and exit allegro so on and so forth so then if our mouse pointer appears inside our box then we'll get a message box we'll get a message box stating that there is a collision so if I was to run this code notice that nothing's happening I'm moving across the screen as soon as my mouse goes into the box a message box pops up saying collision and then I can click OK and then that's it and then I click escape and that's it for this tutorial so that's it for bounding box collision the next tutorial is going to be looking at pixel collision hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and bye